The only working and successful approach to tinnitus treatment is based on team effort. We are working as a group of professionals from different areas of expertise such as psychology, neuroscience, and audiology, helping our patients to find relief to their problems caused by conditions such as tinnitus, low sound tolerance, misophonia, and all combinations of symptoms caused by some or all of these conditions. This is very important that tinnitus sufferers talk about tinnitus with their family physicians. This is what we strongly recommend for many reasons. There are some proven and universal recommended approaches to tinnitus management, therapy, or treatment. They are recommended by the American Tinnitus Association. They are also effective that they are verified and recommended by College of Family Physicians and Otolaryngologists in most countries, including America, as you can see on the screen. For many years, the most successful way to help tinnitus sufferers is based on the work by an American scientist, Professor Pavel J. Yesterboff, his colleagues, and some specialized therapies offered by the modern psychology such as cognitive behavioral therapy and others. Tinnitus retraining therapy by Professor Yasterboff is a long-term therapy, and it should not be mistaken for sound therapy or masking. Used commonly in many hearing aid clinics, actually, masking should be avoided as it is known to cause many problems to tinnitus sufferers. Also, hearing aids should not be recommended for all tinnitus sufferers, especially for patients with low sound tolerance. For all people suffering from low sound tolerance symptoms, hearing aids may have a negative effect on tinnitus, making it even more difficult and more annoying. Best known approach to tinnitus therapy includes a highly specialized assessment and test battery. Please don't mistake this procedure with a hearing test. Based on the findings and assessment results, we can provide tinnitus sufferers with all available options, including a highly personalized tinnitus treatment plan. Why are we so certain we can help most tinnitus sufferers? Metro Hearing and Tinnitus Treatment Clinic is one of the few clinics in Ontario and Canada specializing in treating tinnitus and other similar disorders for more than 15 years. We feel obligated to share our expertise and working knowledge of tinnitus relief management, and removing tinnitus awareness from the minds of people. Our specialists represent a very unique and highly educated group of professionals specializing in all aspects and problems caused by conditions such as tinnitus, misophonia, and hyperacusis. Tinnitus catastrophic level based on tinnitus handicap inventory therapy process will be outlined and explained. Catastrophic level of tinnitus has all elements causing high levels of anxiety, problems with quality of sleep, low tolerance to sound where exposure to sound is known to make the tinnitus noise much louder and worse. For tinnitus sufferers having so many difficulties with tinnitus symptoms, we may recommend treatment or therapy, especially if patients qualify and are willing to work with us, following our instructions and doing their part. Tinnitus treatment is recommended mostly to catastrophic tinnitus level sufferers, and especially to all the people having some additional problems, such as low tolerance to sound, hearing loss, high levels of stress, and anxiety. It is very critical and necessary for the success of the treatment program to address high levels of anxiety and stress caused by tinnitus presence, and very often by some other emotional problems. This part of the highly personalized treatment is provided by a fully certified psychotherapist and registered psychologist. How can bothersome and persistent tinnitus be reduced and eventually eliminated with a proper treatment? There are three major elements used in this type of tinnitus treatments. The first is designed to provide tinnitus sufferers with the quickest and most significant reduction of symptoms. What often complicates this part of treatment is the presence of decreased sound tolerance or the coexistence of conditions such as hyperacusis, misophonia, or phonophobia. In addition, more difficulties are caused by disturbances within the auditory system, which, for example, may cause hearing loss. So, what do we do? First of all, we need to protect tinnitus sufferers from excessive exposure to sounds. This is why we are using a combination device. It has a unique ability to control the loudness of sounds our patient is exposed to using phase noise cancellation and other features. 
This way, we can ensure that exposure to sounds will not worsen tinnitus symptoms. And when we work with hyperacusis, we initiate hyperacusis treatment based on using specialized equipment and proven to be effective when it's personalized for our patient protocols. Now, having our patients stabilized, we have to address the high levels of the patient's anxiety and fear, connected or not connected to the tinnitus and other existing conditions. This is a highly personalized part of the treatment, and all professionals, such as registered psychologists and therapists, are using the most effective and efficient approach in choosing specific therapies and ways to make a significant difference in a way our patient feels and is affected by anxiety and stress connected or not connected to the tinnitus presence. After reducing or eliminating anxiety, fear, and stress, and helping the patient feel more comfortable with fewer problems caused by decreased sound tolerance, we now can begin the tinnitus habituation phase. This phase is designed to reduce the patient's awareness and sensitivity to tinnitus, which by itself may not be causing any emotional responses or annoyance at any level. It's worth noting that habituation is not the final step in addressing bothersome and persistent tinnitus at a severe or catastrophic level. Thank you for watching.